Hi everyone, we're here at John Tyler's Auto Repair. And today I have a 2007 Dodge Magnum with a 3.5 liter. It has no drivability problems, but it has a code P1004 sharp runner performance on the intake manifold. There's a lot of technical service bulletins about it. And what they're talking about is here's the intake manifold. And inside of here, it has a runner that moves back and forth. And I can feel the runner, it's sticking. It's hard to move it. So when they're talking about performance of the runner, you might not notice it in drivability, but it has a problem with it. So they talk about reprogramming the powertrain control module with updated software. Then they talk about replacing this whole manifold. Some people just want to change the actuators. I've tried on a Jeep Patriot, spraying the VG products through the throttle body through here to clean the carbon out and then I replaced the intake manifold actuator and I was able to get a vehicle working good uh, by doing that. But about a month later we got a check engine light again. So what I've learned from the instructors I've talked to and other professionals in the field is the intake manifold, the runner itself. We probably can't see it because it's pretty dark inside there. But there's a flap inside here, an actual runner that moves. And when this moves back and forth, over the years, this vehicle's got 140,000 miles on it, it's been driven a lot. That manifold is sticking, so it's not opening and closing fast enough. And so they want to sell you the whole manifold, it comes with a throttle body, it comes with the actuators, there's one on each side, but the manifold's all built together as an assembly. So I got the assembly from Dodge, I put it on yesterday, I got the car through smog uh, last night, and the check engine light's staying off. Now it had the PCM update done in 2009 and they had a technical service bulletin in 2007 about the problem and so someone had done the PCM update but they did not replace the manifolds. Also one thing I noticed is it has a yellow and a white dot on the center here on both the actuators and the new one has a red dot and a green dot. So there's specific uh, one for the left side and one for the right side. So I've tried to think of different ways to do this job with spraying the BG products through this intake and making that runner move more freely. I haven't found the right combination of chemicals yet, but I'm gonna keep experimenting with it and keep you posted as I learn more. I've used the fuel cleaner and the EGR passage cleaner mixed together to try and break the carbon up. And I think next time I may use the air intake cleaner because the air intake cleaner has a lubricant in it also. I might mix that with the EGR package cleaner and try that on the next one I get because if I can get this valve to move freely, it's the performance of the valve is sticking is what the problem is. That's why you have no drivability concerns. So I'm gonna keep working on it. I'll keep you posted what happens next. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.